Eddie Hearn hints that he don't want Anthony Joshua coming off two losses to fight Deontay Wilder. I will explain in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe if you ever received any value from my videos. Hit that subscribe button. Let's make this an amazing 2023. I'll start with the quote. Eddie Hearn did an interview with the Bo Zone Boxing, and he says, quote, Anthony Joshua, the plan now is to rebuild him to become a three-time heavyweight world champion. It's all very well being brave, listening to Twitter, going out and fighting Deontay Wilder, but there has to be a plan, a smart plan. Joshua wants to return to boxing with the top 15 guy. Then in the summer, maybe probably versus Dillian White and then a mega fight with Deontay Wilder. So that's so already off rip. That's a bunch of steps. And we don't know if Joshua, we don't even know who he is at this point. He's coming off two back-to-back -back losses, no longer a champion. By the time he fights, it'll probably be a bit of a layoff. And everything that Eddie Hearn is saying shows a lack of faith in where Joshua's at. He's saying he wants to fight a top 15 guy. Former two-time champion wants to fight a top 15 guy instead of a top 10 guy, a top five guy. So if you felt good, like you beat Usyk, because you remember after the fight, Joshua was throwing the belts out the ring and stuff like that. So if you really felt like you performed well, then why not fight a top five, top 10 guy? You know, but whatever. Joshua's coming off two losses. They're going to try to give him a light touch, maybe an auto violin or that level person. Maybe the guy Dillian White just fought, Jermaine Franklin, somebody who doesn't have all the experience in the world, like a Joe Joyce or Wilder. But, I mean, to say that you want to fight a top 15 guy, then Dillian White, and then for a crescendo, Deontay Wilder, that shows me that they're not ready for Deontay Wilder. And I think this has been the case. And, you know, I'm not, I can't say I'm mad at it. It is what it is. We haven't got the Wilder fight when they were both undefeated and both champions. So I'm, I'm over it. Not saying I don't want to see it. I definitely would like to see it. But I'm used to the charades and I'm used to the game. And Eddie Hearn knows he's dealing with something very dangerous because Joshua is a loss away from kind of being irrelevant. You know, I haven't seen many fighters fall from grace and have the support that Joshua had to where he's at right now in such a short time in quite a while in boxing. It's like Jay-Z said, fell from top 10 to not mention at all. Like, I don't really even see, I, I was, Joshua at a point, people were comparing him to Mike Tyson. Hey, it's me, Mike Tyson. Some people, they think that Anthony Joshua, they're the British guy. All of a sudden they say he fight like, they were saying that Joshua was the British Mike Tyson. And you know, now he's looking more like Frank Bruno. And that's just the reality of it. You know, we'll see what he does. It looks like he might be trying to get a new trainer or go with Derrick James. We'll see what, what they can do with him. But it, it's apparent that Joshua is in a fragile state and they want to build him up. And Wilder is far too dangerous. And the irony in Eddie Hearn kind of hinting at this or saying this is the fact that Wilder took two losses too. But it's not Wilder's team who is saying that we don't want to fight Joshua next. They're saying the exact opposite. They're saying we want Joshua next and we prefer that even to the Andy Ruiz fight. But logistically speaking, the Ruiz fight is much easier because they're both within PBC and Ruiz is coming off a of Luis Ortiz win and Joshua is coming off of two losses. And Eddie Hearn is telling you the plan is it's the three fight plan and maybe Wilder at the end, at the tail end. So that shows me they don't have faith facing Wilder because Malik Scott asked him about Wilder facing Joshua and he's saying we would take that fight next. Shelly Finkel, co-manager of Wilder, they're all saying, oh my God, they're all saying something different. Wilder's presence after the first round knockout with Robert Hellenius, he said he won all the smoke. Usyk said he was going to be here. Guys mentioned me, but then when it comes down to it, they're nowhere to be found. So Wilder's confidence is still high joshua's isn't so they're, they're trying to rebuild and restore their fighter my thing is this like i hate to be the one that keeps saying i told you so but i, I gotta get credit for what i've said historically on my channel i told joshua that he should have got a like in videos not i told him directly but 
he should have got came to America a long time ago. You don't wait till tragedy befalls you and losses like are bestowed upon you and then try to figure it out. That's always going to be more difficult than when you're still winning and when you're still undefeated, still a champion, then you go try to learn something. You don't learn under duress and learn after you're stressed out because you your career is do or die. But unfortunately, that's how a lot of fighters operate. They don't check the situation and the scenario and do the things until they take losses. And then now all of a sudden when it's like, like I said, do or die, your career is hanging on by a thread. Now you want to look at different options and oh because before joshua was like oh rob mccracken uh you know i was with finchley and rob mccracken he's been there since day one and now he's looking at derrick james and you know virgil hunter and all these other people but whatever let me know what you guys think we're not getting wilder joshua next eddie Hearn's statements confirmed it at least to me let me know what you want to see for joshua and i'm up a lot of people ask me what i use to create content things like youtube thumbnails that generate thousands of views for the first time ever the cat is out of the bag i use canva pro but canva pro is so much more than a youtube thumbnail maker use canva pro to curate content for youtube tiktok instagram reels instagram stories and a whole lot more flyers flow charts you name it with Canva Pro. Click the affiliate link in the description to get Canva Pro. Many features, elements available to you. Take your brand to the next level. Invest in yourself. It takes money to make money. So sign up for Canva Pro today. Happy creations. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.